A couple of weeks ago, I got the chance to catch up with quite a few old friends. And I mean old in the sense that I've known them a long, long time. And in the sense that none of us are as young as we used to be. We were all grayer, thicker, and more wrinkled than I remembered. As one friend put it, we all looked like each other's parents. Thanks for that, Mike. But, but it's what another friend said that really put this reunion in perspective. He said, we're the new old people. He was right. We spent a huge percentage of our time telling stories about our grandchildren and touting the benefits of the supplements we'd been taking. Well, since then, I've been rolling this question around in my head. How, how can I embrace the good old age mentality the Bible mentions and avoid the get-off-my-lawn attitude so common among higher-mileage folks? And I think the secret to growing old gracefully is gratitude. In the last episode, I, I told you that you can't feel entitled and practice gratitude at the same time. Gratitude is an antidote to the sense that the world or God owes you something. But I think it's also a preventative to toxic cantankerousness. You can't be grouchy and grateful at the same time. And even in old age, there's just a lot to be grateful for. It's kind of hard to have old friends when you're 20. The older you get, the more stories you've got. You've seen some things, survived some storms, won some victories, and regrets. You've had a few. But for those, there's the grace and forgiveness of God. There's this promise in Isaiah 46, verse 4, that means more to me now than it did 40 years ago. Even to your old age and gray hairs, I am he. I am he who will sustain you. I have made you, and I will carry you. I will sustain you, and I will rescue you. In 2 Corinthians 4, Paul wrote, Therefore we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. The difference between a good old age and get off my lawn... It's a grateful heart. And with a grateful heart, old men and old women can still dream dreams. Not a sermon, just a thought.